G'day fellas, welcome to Wolf and Spice 3D. Uh, we're having just acquired ourselves a whole bunch of new agents in the last session, we're going to now I think we should finish off the rest of Europe and Russia. So our first mission is a simple one. Basically we just have to find someone and you know, deal with them. So let's see, local police force is all that stands in the way, blah 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 blah. Okay. So let's start with this then. We have got agents with a lot of miniguns. And he's only got a they've both only got chest version two, so how's our research coming along? Mods. Alright, we have researched chest version 3, so the next thing we research will be legs version 3. Now, how much have we got? Can we afford a chest version 3 for them? No. Okay, we'll just have to do this with chest version 2 then. So... Okay, I think that's all. Let's begin the mission. Oh! Hang on, no, before we start that, just have a quick show around. Um, in the last set, um, we found a whole bunch of new agents. Now, these are the ones we picked up earlier when we were just you know, showing you how it was done in one of the previous sets. These are the new ones that we got from this latest mission, which is why whenever I'm playing it, I usually pick up my agents there, because they come with basically a free set of full version 1 mods of everything which is very very nice so that's why you should always try and pick up your agents in Kazakhstan because they're basically just a lot better quality so we now start the mission okay let's get this on I did this set a little earlier, but unfortunately it crashed on me. So I'm now having to do it in the small screen format because I want to keep an eye on the recording file to make sure that it's still going up in size. Uh, so. Bye guys! Oh, I remember now. They're going off to find the informant and shoot him. <coughs> if I remember correctly, um, if you don't get to the informant fast enough, an enemy syndicate squad gets to him and puts a bullet in him. So... <coughs> okay, done. <coughs> have to tone that down a little bit because it's we don't have really high version mods for those so we can't basically amp our agents up all the time which makes for a very slow portions of the game uh, that line that you see going across the screen there the little radar screen here. That's basically just a homing beacon of your current target. And target is up here. You can also move the map to an area of your screen by clicking on there, which is quite a nice feature as well as by scrolling it around. Okay, so we have a number of mercenaries and guards. Probably the easiest way to do this is to just run up and flame away. Because the flamer has the wonderful and slightly hard to explain property of being able to shoot through walls. Yeah, it's a game glitch, but I like it. It's nice. And 
There we go. Oh, come on. Can we not do this a bit faster? This is why I like to get version 3 legs and version 3 heart. It makes these sections a lot nicer. And what's happened to the guy who's supposed to be following us? Oh, never mind. We'll deal with this guy first. Flaming crew. And here we go. So while we're waiting for our other guy to turn up and eventually find the evacuation zone, I'll just have a little explanation. These white lines here that you see, they are sort of how addicted your agent has become to the various performance enhancing drugs you put into his system. Basically the higher these go, the less effect any additional drug has. So we'll just put them down there for a moment while we're waiting for this guy. Oh, yes, yeah, seriously. All the guys you escort here are retarded. They really are. They will get lost in a car park bubble. literally shepherd and guide them every little portion of the way. Alright, now we're done. And we have now got another nation welcome to the dawn of the new year. So, and we've got legs version 3 as well now. Perfect. And as you can see, having taken over this territory, we now have an entry into Alaska. So instead I think we'll go for the Far East. What's this mission about? Reconnaissance, your primary step to taking a city. We have to land a recon patrol. Your squad will be landed in the docks in the southwest of the city and you're to secure a beachhead. Enemy enemy syndicate forces you encounter must be eliminated. Once this is achieved, we will return to the docks for retrieval. They're spread throughout the city and they know we're coming. Oh, this won't go wrong, will it? Okay, I think I remember this one. They're mainly equipped with long range rifles, which don't do a lot of damage from an individual basis. But the problem is that they can shoot you from a very long way away and on mass they do quite a bit of damage, it all adds up, so we're going to give you a chest version 3 uh, hopefully that should ensure that at least one of our agents doesn't get shot to pieces and our new research is going to be miscellaneous, I think this is the energy shield although I'm going off memory so I'm not 100% sure and let's start the mission, this, this can be quite fun we have quite a long set, and the recording is actually working this time, which is nice. Still being shot at, oh. Okay. Oh, they're still coming. Persistent, aren't they? Uh, and now, because I don't want to have run into the same runaround problems. Thank you. Shoot the car, shoot the person flee. Now we have a vehicle. So we'll just cruise around the streets looking for agents. And no, these ones don't have any long range rifles. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Must be getting the missions confused. Now yeah, here they come.
haven't been a tiny bit too eager weapons. Beaver with some miniguns, so I guess we'll have to do the rest the hard way. Though surprisingly the flamer and the minigun are not the best weapons in this game. The best weapon by far in this game is the laser. But they are quite expensive and you don't get them until a bit later in the game. Right, but they are absolutely essential to the game in the game. Oh, no, not absolutely essential. I have actually done them without the lasers, but it's not easy. Not by a long shot. Selected. Selected. Come on. Where is this guy? Please, oh, all the way up there. Selected. Yeah, I'm not waiting for him to come to me, so... Is he running away? He is too. Well, you'll notice the other nice thing about these chests is that basically the is that we're pretty much immune to Uzi fire too. That's with version two chests. What's going on here? Getting lagging problems again. Yes! And we're done! Woo! Good, recording hasn't crashed yet. Excellent. So now that we've taken